Sam is able to use a variety of performance models to predict production from a PV system. The simplest model inside SAM is the PV Watts model. Using PV Watts inside SAM is very similar to using PV Watts online. As before, we will first go to the opening screen for SAM and click on Create a New File. We'll choose Photovoltaics as our technology and then we'll select PV Watts System Model. The selection of financing option won't affect what we're doing here, so we'll select Residential and then click OK. To select a location for PV Watt in SAM, go to the left column and select Location and Resource, and then select the location on the right as before. We will select Little Rock, Arkansas for this example. Now that we know where the array will be installed, we need to tell SAM the details of the array. Go back to the left column and select PV Watt Solar Array. The screen seen here is very similar to the one for PV Watts Online and includes nameplate capacity, a D rate factor, an array tracking mode, a tilt, and an azimuth. For our example, let's enter 6 for the nameplate capacity and 15 degrees for the tilt. For azimuth, let's enter 200 degrees, which is 20 degrees west of south. If you want to use a D-rate factor other than 0.77, you enter it here. To calculate a D-rate factor for your particular situation, you can click down here where it says PV Watts Online D-rate Calculator. This will open up a browser and take you to the online D-rate calculator where you can adjust the appropriate parameters and come up with the value which you then enter into SAM. So let's assume that for our example, we think our inverter and transformer are a little bit better than 0.92. Let's make it 0.95 and then we click on Calculate D-Rate Factor and that brings our D-Rate Factor up to 0.8. So now we can take our D-Rate Factor of 0.8 and bring it back to SAM and enter it right here. You can also define a particular shading scene for this model. We won't discuss that here, but it is important to remember that the D-rate factor you just calculated includes entries for both shading and soiling, so make sure you account for shading or soiling in only one place in the software, either in the D-rate factor or here in SAM. To run the PV Watt simulation, we click on this green arrow at the bottom left. After the model runs, a summary of the model appears at the bottom left. The output of PV Watts and SAM is visually different from the online version, but the numbers should be similar if not exactly the same. The first value, 7847 kilowatt hours AC, is net annual energy to be generated by the PV system. Running these same values through PV Watts online delivers in the same result. The online version of PV Watts gives average energy production for each month. If we want to see the equivalent monthly results in SAM, we make sure we're in the Graphs and Results view by clicking the bar graph in the lower left. We immediately see a bar chart of the monthly output, but you can also select Tables in the row at the top. From here, you can select any number of variables from the model. We'll open up Monthly Data and select DC Output and Monthly Energy. These are the same values you would see in the online version of the PV Watts results.